Now to start a YouTube channel, you need to have an email address because uh, all YouTube channels are tied to an email address. And so I would recommend setting up a brand new email address specifically for the purpose of of running this YouTube channel. So that way you can pass the, the YouTube channel off to somebody else to work on without having it tied to your own personal email account. So I've signed out of uh, my own Gmail account and this is where I'm at. I'm at a sign in account and I want I want to create a new account. I'll give myself a, a, a generic name. Username. Make sure it's spelled correctly. Open.otago.polytech. Password. And I'll set a random birth date, which is in the past just so that I don't get caught by uh, YouTube restrictions because you have to be over a certain age for some things. Got that wrong. Neither male nor female. Google has sent me a text to make sure that I'm not a robot. I'll fill in that number from the text that they've just sent me. And now I have a new profile. Create a profile. Now I'll go to YouTube. Sign in with my brand new account. Here is my channel, which is empty. Now I'm going to click here to put a business name in. Check the spellings correct. Open Otago Polytech, yes. And now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open, I'm going to go to my channel, I'm going to go to the video manager, I'm going to click the upload button and upload my first video. And I'm just going to reach across to my desktop and drag this file in. Now it's uploading. I'm going to give this. So here's the title that, as it will appear, I might just change that slightly. Put it uppercase. This is the first video in the series that I'm uploading. So as you can see it, see the process. Um, the description. Next, we'll come to the the setting here. Now my choice is up. Public, unlisted, and private. Public means anyone can see it. Unlisted means that it does not appear in YouTube's search. So what that will mean is that no one will be able to find it by searching, but I can also send people the um, the URL and say, look, here it is. And private means that only people I specify can see it. I'm going to set this to unlisted at the moment because it's going to be a, a draft copy that I can uh, get some feedback on. And then once it's... Once I've uh, determined that it's all good, then I'll change it to public and then everyone can see it. And tags are going to help people find it by searching. I'm going to add some keywords here, which will help search engines, uh, help people find it via search engines. There we have, I've started typing it in, we go to Target Polytechnic Educational Institution. And a, a resource, it is, this is a resource. Um, but I don't want to use any of those, so I'm just going to click Enter. Video Education. Now, the more tags you can think of to fit in here that accurately describe what you what you have, the better, because that's going to help people find it when they're searching. I'm done to confirm. YouTube is still processing the video. It'll still take a few minutes for it to uh, do all its magic to it. All changes have been saved. Under the advanced settings, I tend to, well, do you want to have comments on here? Do you want to have a discussion? Perhaps you do, but you might also find that you get a lot of feedback that is unwanted from American teenagers that um, doesn't help. Uh, I'm going to put approved. I want comments, but I want, them to, I want to be able to approve them and make sure that they're not spam. Um, for a lot of things that I do, I will disallow comments. 
um, depends on whether you, whether this is a, a video that wants a a conversation about it. And I think in the, this set we we could do with a conversation. People could ask questions. Well, mostly educational things. People, if you can get a communication going with the audience, that's going to be that's going to be beneficial. Users can view the ratings for this video. No, I don't think that having the ratings is going to be, going to help the video at all. Um, but I could put it there. It's not a big deal. Uh, I'm going to go with the Creative Commons by Attribution license, which means that people can copy this video. And the caption certification, well, I, I'm going to leave this blank because this doesn't really relate to what we're doing here. I'm going to allow embedding, which means people can embed this on other websites. And I'm going to click notify subscribers so that once I build up a, a, a list of people who, are, who have subscribed to my channel, this will send them a message saying, hey, there's a new video there. And I don't think we need an age restriction. Category. Video language, English. Reporting date, day. No preference there. And again, I don't think that's going to be of particular benefit to us. Having done that, I need to click done to confirm that here's all changes have been saved. I'm going to save them. Okay, and now the video is ready. Now, one thing else I want to do. Turn to editing. Now that it's processed, I need to choose a thumbnail image. Now it's it's given me three of them. I can also upload my own one, but usually you just want to look through here and make sure you haven't caught something with a particularly um, bad expression. I'm going to choose that one as the thumbnail. It may take a little bit before this one actually appears, but eventually it will. So don't worry if you don't see it straight away. It will turn up there. 